I'm Eli Roman, the owner and driver of La Plomera, the world's fastest single cam T-Series. setup consistent um is a d16 c6 the engine block with the sleeve is made by tulipan machine shop the head is made by cw pens they made all the fat work for us in the head the whole mechanic stuff anything about the car is by made by mar performance mitchell and turbo wise is revolution turbo hung in ocala and the the camshaft is made by Webcam is a custom webcam by, by Mitchell, by me, and Faith, she's the one being helping us a lot. All the fabrication is made by Gato Performance here in San Cloud, Florida. And the turbo size is 6775. It's a new turbo that we we testing in this new setup. Um, we're testing a new set of injectors, a company made, uh, called FMS. Rocky, the owner, approached to me and he, tell, he told me I can test them. I said, yeah, I will try. They're working perfect. The, uh, the suspension is blocks. Block suspension, we're using blocks in all our cars. So far, they're working great. The alignment is by Tavares Alignment in Hain City, Florida. The engine management is a FuelTech 600 and tuned by Jesus Melendez, uh, alias uh, Shupatech. Now he got, what, a B-Series record on a 73.9, a 67 millimeter in a B-Series. And now he got a record with me with a 67 millimeter in D-Series uh, single cam engine. And the wire harness is made by XOB Wiring, our friend Chu. I want to say a big thanks to Eric at uh, Carbon 19. He supplied us the fiberglass trunk, fiberglass roof. The only thing about uh, fiberglass is helping us in the car. Also, a big thank you to Orlando from Enemy Creation. He's one of our biggest supporters. And our friend, uh, teammate, you know, he's one of our, 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 our biggest supporters on the team. So thank you for that. So, thank you for everybody being involved in my in my build. I, I want to give you a little update. Last time we went out, it was in December with the car. We did, we accomplished a, a nice pass, a 832, uh, 172.95, I think, was it? So after that event, we was we already got a plan to do a new setup. So we got we we know what we want. So we was waiting to God to give us an appointment to bring the car to him to fabricate everything. So we did, and we knew from that day in December that we, the potential that our our car has. So we decided to build it stronger. You know, a better better turbo, better intercooler, better intake better injectors, you know, a bunch of changes that we did. We even put the car lighter. We changed the weight, we changed windows, roof, trunk. So we we did a lot of changes to the car. 
And with the new setup, we went to Ace Day this weekend. And off the trailer, no dyno, no data, no testing, new setup, 806 at 178. didn't expect that. We, we, we was expecting like an 8.2, high 8.2, I'll be honest with you. High 8.28, 8.29. Even when I did the pass at the top end, Ray Maravilla was already there. So he helped me to put the shoe back in the car. He asked me, how you feel the car? He said, yo, I know it was faster than 8.32. I knew it. I know, I know for 100% sure but I didn't know it was an A06. So I went, I drove to the to the wake and Mitchell and Joel was there. Mitchell and Joel asked me, yo, how you feel the car? He said, well, I feel better than 832. I know that for sure. And I, they start laughing between them. He said, yo, what's going on? I said, are you sure? He said, well, how, what do you think you run, you run? I said, well, 825, 822, 828, I told them. So Mitchell started laughing with, in, in, with, with Joel, started laughing a lot. I said, what the hell is going on? When he approached to me and showed me the paper, I saw A06, I started jumping around. And lucky there wasn't a camera around because it was a big joy I was doing that there. <laughs> Yo, we didn't expect it though. I mean, we were, we were happy, the team is happy, and we know we got more, more to show in the D-Series platform. I know this baby here is gonna surprise a lot of people more than he's doing right now because it's been surprising to us too. So we amazed, we don't even, Expected they go that deep, you know, that far in in this sport, in the D-Series, you know, platform. On Sunday, on the elimination rounds, we go to the first round, being the first number one qualifier in H day on a single camp in a badass field with a badass cars in the field. You know, Prionto in the Goldie, Westbury, uh, uh, Rami, uh, Mar uh, Marsh, uh, Miss PSI, uh, who else? Uh, Ryan, Ryan with the corn fed, uh, DSMT, and Pollito, uh, Mamastraca. Yo, it's the field was low eights and sevens. So I'm real, real grateful that I qualified number one. So that um, it's a surprise for me. It's an age day, number one qualify a single camp. So all right, the first, it was a bike run. The second one was a no-show. So after the Saturday, the 806 uh, t uh, pass, we noticed that we got a little drop on the oil pressure. Then it wasn't normal for the what we used to see in the screen. So we was dealing every pass. We got a bike run, we got a no-show, no-show, no-show. So in the third no-show, we decided to bring the oil pan out and check the oil pump. So we check the open, we put a little more shims on the, on the spring on the open to bring the pressure up, but we didn't know what was it. So we bring the oil pressure up, whatever, it was working fine. So in the pass against Rami, when I put a uh, four gear, and it's, I, was, I was almost out of the groove. So I was the time that I was going let off and the engine broke. The, the engine don't broke, I'm not like, the block snapped. The rods, a bear, a piston, everything is, is, is perfect. The, the block snapped. I don't know what happened. Something touched the, the, the tire and it threw me as a left. So I start fighting with her, whatever. You know, I, everybody knows the, Everybody knows the story. So finally I got okay. I'm okay. The car is okay. The only thing the car was that damage right here on the on the trunk and the parachute bracket. Thank God we we be able to walk away from that. But yo, uh, we we amazed, like I said before. So this is, uh, we're not done yet. Trust me, we're not done yet. We know what we're capable to do. We got plenty of data now. So Chupa can, you know, keep figuring out what, how fast we can go. Now we need to fig figure out, open the engine and figure out what happened with the block so we can make it stronger. So be able to, to run faster. And let me clarify people, 
that engine inside here with the pass on Sunday is an 88 pass on the same engine. So uh, people say I'm, I'm, I'm lying, I'm not lying. I've been counting the, the passes all the time that I'm using that block. He got piston, rods, head, same thing for 88 passes. Finally, he gave up. But we need to find out why. You know, what, what happened? So we need to find the weakness of what it is. That's what we're doing with my car. That's what people say, why you don't get faster so quick? Because we, it's a test. It's a, it's a, it's a new thing. You know, it's different than everybody else. It's everything is like a part custom. It's not easy to go. So we're going step by step, step by step with her. So now we know that playing that up, we want to go strong now. That's why we came with a new setup. So hopefully it's working fine. We will be back stronger. One of the biggest changes that we did, and my, my opinion, was the turbo. The old turbo that hung, Revolution Turbo made for us, was a 6772 initially. So we be changes, everybody knows on the first video. So now it was a 6765, but it was like a, it was already maxed out. It was already, you know, it, it wanted to produce no more. So we talked to him, Revolution Turbo, he made that 6775, big frame, and everything. When I went to pick it up, I told him, Hong, I don't have a B series, I don't have a K. That's way too big. So he said, no, no, don't worry about it, that's gonna work. So we thought that it's gonna be bigger. But after this weekend, we tested for the first time. You won't believe it. We still need more. So we got data. We, we, we will have a couple of changes on that. We need to keep working out. So big thanks to Ron Revolution Turbo. That's my boy right there. So I'm, I'm glad that he be part of my, of my journey for me. He's been a big, big, big help for me. One more time, I want to say thank you to know how last supporter they have like a sponsor because i don't have a big main one but i got a few little ones that helped me a lot and since i started this journey chupa tech my tuner my performance that's my my my, my brother uh arias elmer being great 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 asset to us webcam faith all the girls in the in the, in the headquarters in webcam um cw pens billy jeffrey I can thank no more, you know, enough for what you guys do for me. Uh, Enemy, Orlando, you are, you, you're my boy too, bro. You help me a lot. And Hong, like I said before, big asset to my team too. Turbo, Gato, that's, you know, the best. Deli delivering power all the time. Gato is the best, bro. No matter what we say, that's our boy. That's our guy for the fabrication. And alignment, Tavares is not only the alignment guy, he works in the team, he got his own car, but he 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 lives for this. You know, he like this, he helps everybody, he he helps us a lot. And Noel, you know, Michael, they help us today. Christian, Flaco, he helped us today too this weekend. And who else? Who got who else? Who else? Uh, oh, Chu for the wiring. And who else I can say, I can thank? Uh, yo, everybody else, whoever I got left behind, so everybody knows I, I really, really appreciate it. Everything that you do with my, with our bill. And stay tuned, it's not done yet. We got more in the plate for this baby right here. So stay tuned, guys. <laughs>